What's going on guys? Detached here and welcome back to Destiny. Today is the weekly reset day, so let's jump into it and see what Bungie dropped for us this week. This week's weekly featured raid is Corota, so strap in with your fire team because there is some absolutely sweet loot to be had. For the Nightfall this week, we have the Wretched Eye Strike, so go take on those Devil Splicers. We have Arkburn, Small Arms, Juggler, Airborne, and Daybreak. Now, if you're looking for some strike-specific loot, you are going to get the Devil's Dawn and the SIVA-infused Titan Mark. Now, this week is very interesting because we do have Arcburn and Small Arms, so grab those Zalo Supercells and any other Arc damage you have because it's going to do some massive damage. We also have Daybreak, so get ready for a Mayhem Nightfall. This one should be good. Over to the SIVA Heroic Strikes, we have Heroic, Voidburn, Brawler, and Ironclad. You also get a Treasure of Ages and 10 Legendary Marks, and you get 3 Weekly Bonuses. For the weekly story playlist, we have Heroic Light Switch, which taken does more melee damage and airborne. You also get a Treasure of Ages and... For the featured Crucible match, we've got 2v2 doubles, so make sure you pick your partner up. We've got the Treasure of Ages and 10 Legendary Marks. For the Crucible playlist, we have got a big mix. We've got Control, we have Supremacy, Elimination, Salvage, and rumble over to lord shacks this week he has got the supremacy bunny you need to have seven matches completed 50 primary kills 30 kill credits and 20 crests denied he also has the control matches you need seven matches completed 30 advantage kills 15 captures and you've got to grab the beeline first over to the crucible quartermaster he has pulse rifle kills Scout Rifle Kills, Sidearms, Sniper Rifles, and Heavy Weapons. For those bounties, you do get Legendary Weapons and a ton of experience and reputation. Now over to the Temple to see what Shiro has on bounties. He has Public Events completed, so you need five of those in the Plague Lands. He also has a percentage of Fallen Leaders defeated. Fallen Majors and Ultras are the best place to get them are in the Forge. You need to have four Captain Encounters in the Forge and four Shank Encounters in the Forge. Great reputation if you're trying to level up. And over to Tira Karn, she's got some pretty good artifacts. She has a Memory of Scory with a Strength roll on it. It's not the greatest percent roll, but if you don't have a Memory of Scory, it's well worth it. She has a Memory of Radagast with a pretty decent stat roll on it this time. She also has a Memory of Geleon, one of my favorites because it does grant a very detailed radar and persists while you have your primary weapon always on. That wraps up this week's weekly reset day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel and like the content, a like and a subscribe is always appreciated. Comment if you feel so because I love to connect with new people. Stay tuned to the channel because we have more Destiny 2 content coming very soon with breakdown details of a lot of new details that we have seen in the community. So guys, I hope you all have an amazing afternoon. You all stay awesome, and I will see you next time.